Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for to episode 2 of A Sign of Affection. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Look at him. He's so perfect. <sighs> Feels like a dream, though, right? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> any girl would be nervous. I mean, seriously, once again, the let me in yours folded. Oh, no, no. He he's into you, Yuki. He wants to know you more, baby. Don't you want to know more about him? Go on. Don't be nervous. Uh, uh. fucking pretty eyes and he is all up in that like oh
Too close, oh my god. <laughs> Just, huh? Oh. <laughs> Lao. Laos. Laos. Because they even said Laos. Where is that? Um, I, I don't remember. Mm. Mm. I know, definitely not. You were flirting without it actually being flirting. You know, that's a good question. Even at the age I am, I still don't even know. This is the way that makes you feel. See that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Right, because you know, not many people are willing to learn that, even if it's someone, whether it's a friend or, you know, significant other. Ah, that's kind of it. Oh, no, but yeah. <laughs> right now like Yuki it, it's definitely her crush you can't help but think about him that's how it starts with all of us then it turns into love
He's so cute. That's a crush. <gasps> That's crazy that he's done all that oh so quickly. The, the freaking Ichigo squeal. Like, oh my god, that was so cute! Oh, my Arikatsu baby. I'm so proud of her. You can see him. <laughs> I'm gonna go die in the corner. Oh my god, they're so cute. Uh. Hold on, let him give you the gift first. <laughs> Your gift.
That's a good question. In a way, you, you were trapped, even though you enjoyed it, but you still wanted to be free. He's just being nice though. Yeah, also the childhood friend is hot, I'm just saying. Possibly. Of course.
That's because you like when he does that. You love him. Love, baby. It's love. Yes! 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 <laughs> now, I'm also kind of expecting that, of course, Oshkun, aka her childhood best friend, might come in and also possibly have these deep feelings that he has possibly for her that he hasn't realized up until now. Maybe. I don't know. Because we're we're so Yuki and him. Iitsunkun. Which is sweet. You just, you want those two to be together. That's all. You look at everybody else and be like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get back. It's between these two. And their love between these two. Like, ah. Uh. But the fact is she's felt for the longest time almost held back or locked in or stuck. And once you see someone who you really, you know, eventually love and care about, like, your whole world is different. You feel freer. You feel fuller and such in, in a weird way. But in, in a good way, though, too. And the fact is, like... And I'm going to say this, like, if someone really cares about you, guy, girl, whatever. I think one of my things, especially if I have a crush on somebody, um, because they did it in the episode, it's the person who you last speak to. You know, it's like the first person who gives you that good morning text and the last person who gives you that good night text, especially if they are the same person. And it's sweet that you're able to talk to someone especially who you have a crush on and they're able to say good morning and tonight and good night to you and such. And it's like the sweetest thing in the world. It's like, oh my God, like I cannot believe I'm in this like relationship or I I'm in love with this person so freaking much. But you, I, and okay, do, I'm not being a Debbie Downer on this, so don't think I am. Um, sometimes with those situations eventually you have this weird feeling that one day they will all stop um as someone i at the last relationship i was in was a couple of years ago other than that your girl has been single mingling sometimes not all the time um with me and him ever we would talk every single day we would he would text me in the morning saying good morning da 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 uh, I would talk to him later on in the day, and then during the night, we would Skype each other at the time when Skype was still big and hot and edge before Discord came in. Um, and we would sleep on Discord together. Oh, not on Discord, Skype together. Then eventually we went to Discord and such. But um, we would always fall asleep together. And then he would wake up, and he would hang up and such. Because by the time I was still asleep. Um, and then, you know, one day, it just stopped. Like I said, and we don't really need to talk about that, but I, I hope for her it's not like that. That, you know, he will always text her at night during the day, whatever, and such. Those sweet little good morning texts, those sweet little I love you texts. Because to us, as a woman and such, and when you receive those, it's the sweetest thing in the world. Like, I love it oh so freaking much. And... I cannot with it. It's the cutest thing in the world, but I I'm happy for her, and I'm happy that she is slowly but surely finally realizing uh, two weeks in that she's in love with him, and that she hopes that the feelings are being um, conveyed to him as well. So hopefully we get to see that on his side. Maybe there might be an episode or two on his POV with that, but we won't know. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to the episode two of A Sign of Affection. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode three. 
But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.